All right, Uncivilized Vitality is um, an alternative tarp setup. So besides the main four, which we encourage, and a square tarp, which I really encourage because there's versatility, we have a friend, um, an uncivilized friend, Lynn, who moved down to Arizona from Indiana or Ohio, where Lynn lived. He's been up with us a few times. So he's moved further down, and now he's out in the woods. Uh, well, not the woods, out in the wild where it's the desert, and he doesn't have many trees to throw up a wedge or two trees that are far enough to make a nice lean-to or an A-frame. He uses the cave sometimes, but the cave's hard to put up with, um, or he's finding it a little difficult to put up with the rectangular as opposed to square shape. You can still do it, but here's a, uh, another version of a tent that you can put up uh, where you don't have a lot of trees. And I just use a, um, a poncho because we don't have any oblong or, or rectangular shaped tarps. So the USGI poncho, which is a rectangle, a simple stick. You could take uh, a trekking pole or two with you. Okay? Then you'll need about six stakes and a couple hanks of paracord, or about 20 feet of paracord couple little things here I can show you. Uh, Lynn, we apologize. Uh, we're just out in the front yard of the clinic, so it's going to be pretty noisy with the uh, airplanes and trucks. One of the problems with using these uh, ponchos as tarps is uh, the grommet situation, and even a small stake has trouble going through there. I'll use the hook on some of the stakes to drag that in, so this won't be, this would be less than ideal. You can always use a small Prusik loop on these to get a, a better hold, so sometimes it's good to have little extra cord or maybe pre-tie the prusiks onto your poncho if you're going to use that as a shelter. So one of the first things we'll do is we're going to stake down the back. And a hank of paracord. In about 20 feet here I'll just fold that in half. Find the center. And come over here to my corner with a small stake or a toggle. I'm going to put that through the grommet, that little bite, and just pull that tight. So there's my there's my toggle. All right. I'm going to set my trekking pole up to desired height. Depending on, this is not a big poncho so I don't have a lot of room to crawl under that. Next thing I'm going to do is right at the handle is I'm going to tie this on as a clove hitch right next to the, the poncho. So I'm going to go over the handle and come around, okay, crossing over. I hold that X. I'm going to go around again. Get that out of the way. And this time when I come around, I'm going to feed the cord under the loop I just made, or under the crossing I just made. It's not a loop. And pull that all the way through. Now with both sides, both lines, I've tied a clove hitch. What's going on there? Okay, there we go. So I've got a clove hitch on the handle so it won't uh, pull from either direction. Now I put that down in the ground. And these cords, I'm going to stake this cord out here. Just going to wrap around that for now. You could tie taut line hitch. You could use uh, any any of the knots you know to slide, so keep that up. Now you can do a couple things over here, Lynn. You could do the same thing with your other trekking pole at this end and you have a freestanding lean to. But if you're looking for something a little more uh, weather resistant, like a modified cave, I'm going to bring this corner in a little ways. Uh, maybe to, if there were another grommet, the location of that first or second grommet so that I have some, so I have some wiggle room with this corner. And then my second tripod our second um, trekking pole is going to go in and toward the back to give me a little more space. Then you might have to, after you got your pole in there, boy that tarp, that thing's not coming out. <clears throat> then once my second pole's in there I can kind of modify where I stake that tarp down. 
Might have to take that back corner out a little bit. Not a lot of room under the GI tarp, uh, poncho as a tarp setup, but it's a little more, a little more weather resistant than a, the straight lean to, you know, straight across. But this is basically how you're gonna do the um, upright without a tree available. Just with a trekking pole or a stick, you're gonna attach that to one corner of the tarp or both corners if you wanna lift it up. And just make sure your two guy lines are out 90 degrees so they maintain uh, the integrity of that pole. So you're pulling in three directions, right? That should keep it up. Then the tarp, I can get under here. Enough room to stay out of the, the stay out of the elements. Another small stick here to lift this up, right? Uh, another tracking pool or a small stake I brought. And then I could maybe have the fire out there if I needed that uh, in the desert at night if it gets cold. But I find this a little more room, a little more uh, enclosed and kind of secure feeling than a straight uh, lean-to with two trekking poles. But this is one way to do that. I call that a modified rectangular cave. You can call it whatever you want. I probably wouldn't do it because I don't like rectangular tarps, but you have to make the best of the materials you have. If you do use a tarp or a poncho as a tarp, don't forget this. Don't forget to close your hood. All right? Don't forget to close that hood. Sometimes you could even tie that off with some extra cord and stake that down along the back in case you do get some rain or some weather so it won't come in there. All right, well, um, Lynn, hopefully that helps. I know we were talking about it. There's some other modifications you could do with uh, rectangular tarps. I do have a rectangular tarp uh, coming in the, the mail, so when I get that, I'll reconfigure, maybe put up another video uh, that you can do tarp setups without, um, without trees necessarily or maybe one or two trees that are too far apart for an A-frame or a, a lean-to. All right, so hope you enjoy that. Uh, if you're not Lynn and you watch the video anyway, go ahead and like that, make a comment, and uh, subscribe to the channel.